Okay, let's take stock of where we're at. We have at long last found the complete set of equations for electricity and magnetism electric fields, which is Maxwell's equations. Everything else to do with electricity and magnetism anywhere in physics can be derived from these equations. This is it. Write them on the back of a postage stamp if you like. We have the two surface integral equations. Gauss's law telling you that the surface integral of electric field over an area tells you the charge inside. Gauss's law for magnetism telling you the surface integral of magnetic field over surface equals zero because there are no monopoles. And then we have the two line integral equations where if you go around a loop and look at the electric field that tells you the rate of change of the magnetic field inside it. And if you go around a loop of the magnetic field it tells you the rate of change of the electric field flux through it plus the amount of current through it. To get a full set of equations, we actually need one more. These will tell us the electric and magnetic fields, but they don't tell us how an electric or magnetic field can be measured or what it does to things. And for that, there's just one equation, this one here, which tells you if you have a charged particle, what the force on it's going to be. And the force is just the charge times the electric field plus charge times velocity cross product with the magnetic field. So that's how you actually measure these. Uh, electric magnetic fields, you jiggle a charge around and see what happens. And these equations tell you what those electric and magnetic fields are in any given situation. Now they're all extremely well experimentally verified. The hardest one to experimentally verify is this little bit over here, because to get uh, to experimentally test it, you need to have a changing electric field, and to get a changing electric field, you generally need to have a current. And so you're going to have a current very close to electric field, so you have to very carefully subtract off the component from this to that one to find out what's left over to see if this really works in something like a capacitor. But that's been done, and it works. These all work, and as far as we know, these are the final truth, totally accurate in all circumstances for these whole things. Good to know.